What's up, YouTube? Sean, the Average Angler, and today we're going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart, and that is offshore jig fishing. Now, we're going to cover a few things here, kind of to give you the gist of all of it, but we're going to keep it simple. Trailer-wise, all that. We're going to keep it simple, okay? So, what do we need to offshore jig fish? First of all, is the appropriate rod. Okay, this doesn't really go brand specific, nothing like that. Okay, this is a Mega Bass Roshi Perfect Pitch, seven foot two. I'd call it a heavy on the moderate side, action wise. So, something from seven two to like the seven six Daiwa Tatula Elite Flipping Stick. This has got the AGS guides, so it's pretty light for its size, casts really well, also with a fairly moderate type of bend. Okay, you need something to be able to take up some line on the hook set. You're not close quarters here. Typically, this is you want to make very long casts, get the bait away from you, work it through the area, reel it, and cast again. Now, those areas are usually going to be something like rock piles, ledges, hard spots, out off of points, those types of things, okay? What do we need for this? Okay, we got the rod. Typically, I'm fishing 16 to 20 pound test in my area. You can go down to 12. If you're throwing 12, I recommend you fish a jig. I just had one here somewhere. No. Nope. There. With no weed guard. Okay. See, there's no weed guard on there. It's just for easier hook penetration. Also, you can use a light wire hook. I, uh, I oftentimes fish a jig and cut off the weed guard. This is just a cut off weed guard, folks. I didn't buy a special jig or nothing. I just cut it off. No big deal, all right? Um, I, I find that most of the time I can pop these out of those areas. And if you're not throwing into wood, um, I don't seem to lose any more than I do normal. Spotted bass also, I don't really like a weed guard on there. Anyway, enough of that with the line. Tip, my typical sizes are going to be these two right here. Five eighths, three quarters. You don't need a big array of colors, and I'm going to explain to you why in a second. My suggestion, green pumpkin. This one's bass candy. It's green pumpkin with some different color flake in it. Essentially, it's green pumpkin. The reason being, green pumpkin, you can get an assortment of trailers, and this is the trailer I would suggest if you're not sure what to use. That's the three and a half inch flapping hog, so the body here is a little bit shorter. I like this size for a trailer. You can use the regular size, but you have an assortment of colors. There's pumpkin, there's green pumpkin with orange, Green pumpkin with red. Watermelon red. Blue with emerald flake. Purple with emerald flake, kind of like a June bug type color. So you get the point. You can keep your, your jig color selection pretty limited. I like black and I like green pumpkin or brown start out with those two you can kind of mix and match trailers to get the colors that you want at times on certain bodies of water red is really hard to beat so if you come up with something like a fire craw type trailer that's another good one I'm pretty sure you can probably find something in the flapping hog, but don't quote me on that. You might have to cross brands there to find something. But 
keep it simple, okay? Brown and black as far as the jig goes, so you don't have to carry a freaking box like I do here with five million colors in it that realistically I don't need. See, like this, I can make this. It's brown with some orange, right? I can just use a brown jig with that trailer. And I can flip this either way I want, depending on how much orange I want on top. All right, I think you got the point there. So pretty simple. The other one would be black and blue, right? But you can get a black jig. This one's black and blue. You can just get a black jig and mix these colors, okay? Purple goes good with black. Blue goes really good with black. This, the old sapphire blue zoom chunk, for instance. But what I found is that these Yamamoto flapping hogs work really, really good as trailers. Fish love them. Matter of fact, I was fishing a local lake here yesterday, and you will see. Flapping hog trailer on there. Okay, and this might look like a big profile jig there. But I had no problems catching 12 inch fish on that. Yeah, I know, nothing to, nothing to brag 